Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Chris. Um, today's video comes as a suggestion from one of my Twitter followers, Instagram followers, and he follows me on YouTube. He follows me like on everything I have, but um, his name is Al. Um, I'll put his links to his stuff in the description of this video, but um, he asked um, how I do screen recording for Pro Tools and Ableton, how I get those... Um, to work inside of like a screen recording program. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. These instructions are for Microsoft Windows, so I'm not exactly sure how you would do it on like Mac. So um, there's probably better resources out there for you to check for that. But if you're learning how to do it on Windows, I'm gonna show you how to do it today. So you're gonna need two tools. Um, the first one is called OBS. Um, it's a screen recording program. You can um, use it for streaming. A lot of people use it for um, live streaming video games, like when they're playing it online on Twitch. So that's a good use of this tool. But um, I use it for my screen recordings for Pro Tools and Ableton because it works good for me. But one thing you need to know is right out of the box, it's not gonna um, it's not gonna work correctly with Pro Tools and Ableton because of your audio interface. You need to reroute that audio inside of Windows. So you'll need another tool for that, and it's called Voice Meter. It's this tool right here, and this reroutes your audio interface audio into Windows desktop audio so you can um, broadcast that audio into your stream or your recording. So that's what this tool is for. I'm going to go over this one really quick because um, I think it's um, probably the more important one to know for recording music into your DAW. But um, how I set it up is I actually mute the microphone um, line in. Microphone, The microphone sounds already coming through the stream, and if you had it in here, it would echo in my headphones, and I would hear a delay of myself, and it'd be very distracting. So um, I do not do that, so I keep this one muted. And then this virtual input, that's um, your audio interface input. I just keep it at 0 dB, keep it pretty standard. Um, and then here, you keep these both at zero, and one, you choose your Windows Audio driver, um, the A2. I do the MME for my audio for that, and then A1, I do WDM, and that's the speakers for my 11 rack, or in your case, a different audio interface, or an 11 rack if you have one, but um, that's how you do that. There's also some important settings in here that I didn't know about when I was doing my first screen recording. Um, there's these buffering settings. You want to make sure these are at a good setting for your computer so they don't make uh, any like clipping noises or like weird artifacts in your sound. So this is what I have mine set at. Um, if you have a more powerful computer, you might not need your buffering right at this high, but um, this is what I have mine set at. Now I'm going to show you how you um, get that audio from your DAW into here. One little thing to know with Pro Tools, if you just open it up like this if you just open it up it'll actually stay frozen so you need to close voice meter out before it actually loads correctly it's a weird little glitch but once it starts all the way then you can re-enable voice meter it's really weird i have an older version of pro Tools, so it might be fixed in the newer version but this is at least with my version so uh, I'm gonna let this load and then I'm gonna skip ahead here in the video. Oh, another thing I should mention is sometimes OBS actually freezes it too, so sometimes you have to close OBS out all the way too. So I'm gonna stop this recording and then restart it once Pro Tools is opened up on the session I have. Once you're in Pro Tools, you'll want to go to your playback engine and then you'll select the voice meter ASIO um, for your playback engine. That way um, all your audio from Pro Tools is actually going to the voice meter program. And when you're in voice meter, uh, I have the free version so this keeps popping up, but when you're in here, um, it'll actually play back in here so you can hear it through your interface still. So um, let's put voice meter, okay, and then we should hear audio. So there you go. <laughs> That's how you do it inside of Pro Tools. Let's uh, try it inside of Ableton. Ableton, I don't think, has any weird glitches when you try to open it up. It just works, unlike Pro Tools. <laughs> okay, it's opened up now. Let's just do a random song that I've worked on recently. Do do do. Okay, here's a song. Okay, in Ableton, you go to Preferences, and then Audio, and then you select your ASIO, and then the voice meter ASIO, and then we should hear it in here too. Um, 
one little side note, a nice thing in Ableton is you can actually do this test tone to see if it's playing. So we should be able to hear it if we try the test tone right here. So that way you know your interface is actually playing. That way you don't have to actually go back and play music. You can do it right from there. But let's just verify. Okay, that's working. A few little side notes. Um, when you're setting this up, you are going to want to record your audio on separate audio tracks. Otherwise, you're, um, like if you're talking and the music's playing at the same time, you won't be able to mix it differently in post-production if they're on the same audio track. So you want them on separate audio tracks. Um, to do that inside of OBS, you go to File, Settings, and then you go to Output here. And then for output mode, um, it usually, like if you first open this, it says simple, but you change it to advanced. Then you go to recording. Um, you change the format to MP4 and you enable two audio tracks. You can enable even more in here, but um, I use two because I'm just using computer audio and my voice. So that's all I really need. And then you hit apply and it should be good. Um, there's also a spot on audio here where you need to select the desktop audio to use and the line in for your microphone. So there's another spot. <laughs> and then um, if you're not familiar with OBS, you have to create scenes. Um, if I recall, you just add it and you can select display capture and that's how you do the screen recording. And you just gotta make sure you have the right resolution for the screen that you're using. Um, I don't have like an HD monitor, that's why there's usually black bars on the sides of my videos, but if you have an, like a good resolution monitor, there won't be the black bars. Okay, and then final thing, <laughs> and then I think the video's over, um, this is probably one of the most important, you have to make sure you select the audio tracks that you're using for the separate ones. So my desktop audio is going into track one, and then my mic audio is going into track two, and then right here you also got to make sure you click mono on your mic otherwise your mic will play in like either just the left or right speaker but you want it to be in the middle so um, you want to hit mono on that so when it outputs it's at the right thing then you hit close and when you stop the recording um, it'll go to your videos so I go to my videos and then it will show up here as your video and then you can import it into like DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. And your audio track should be separate then for you to do separate audio. And then you go from there and you do your regular editing. If you have any questions about this or if I wasn't clear about anything, please let me know in the comments and I can try to clarify um, how to help you get this set up so you're doing it right. So thank you guys again for watching and please subscribe if you want more information like this. Thank you. Bye.